Hello, welcome back to Simply Sprouts Farm. What's up? Hey guys, today we're going to try out a new product that uh, I've been impressed with a sister product of them so far. What? Boogie Boo! Boogie Brew. So stay tuned, we're going to make up some Boogie Boo. Okay, Benny, what do you got in these two bags here in front of you? What's going on here? Um, let me see what's going on. Um, it's going to make it for plants. For plants. Yeah, when you buy this stuff online and they ship it to you, it comes in two bags. It's called Boogie Base and Boogie Boost. And what you're going to do is you use a half a cup of each of them in a five gallon bucket. So we're gonna measure out a half a cup and put it in, uh, now you don't put it actually in the bucket. You put it in this here, which comes with the kit that you buy. It's uh, just a little bag and a uh, little um, string on the top to tie it. And we'll show you how we do all this here in a moment. So one of the reasons why we try, we decided to buy this uh, Boogie Brew this year is because it's all natural and it seems like a really good idea. You know, you, can, you have to put it in water, you run uh, uh, an aerator over it for a while so it gets a lot of oxygen in it. It just makes sense to me. And um, one thing we really didn't realize was the other equipment you gotta have to have. So we're gonna go through all the equipment you're gonna need in order to make this work because uh, if you don't have it it's you know it's a little bit of an additional cost other than just the cost of the boogie brew this right here is the uh, pure protein it comes in with the kit that you buy and uh, they also give us an, another product as well which we'll take a look at in another video but the pure protein I've been very impressed with so far on my corn and I'm gonna make another video about that so uh, stay tuned we're gonna get this all whipped up for you and show you exactly everything you're going to need to uh, to make this happen in case you have nothing uh, from scratch to do this. All right, one thing you're going to need is an aerator. And I had some aerators. I had these. These little ones here. They're not going to work very well. You need something that's going to push a heck of a lot of uh, gallons per minute through. And so I settled on this one here, and I will um, put the link to where I got it off of Amazon. It comes with this, um, the adapter, this hose, and then this manifold here. Now, this manifold really confused me. You can run all of these, this air at once through them, or you can turn each one individually off. And what confused me was how to turn it off. And it's really, this is on right here okay you can see that that's on like this one's in the on position and then this is off just push it to the side so <clears throat> right now I've got all of these off except the ones on each end okay because I'm only running two you have to buy the hose that you're going to connect to the aerators separate the aerators are separate and this hose is separate and again I'll put the links to it this is capable this aerator here is capable of handling the air pressure that this guy is going to put out so with that in mind uh, the first thing you're going to do 
is one of these goes into the bag. Okay. <clears throat> you also need a bucket, five gallon bucket and access to water. Fresh, clean water. Make sure you clean out the bucket really well. Um, we run a couple of uh, runs of Boogie Booth through so far. So uh, we keep using the same thing, but we're trying to clean everything up as best as possible and even cleaned out the uh, aerators. So let's get rolling. Okay, so I got one of the aerators. I've already put it in the bag and kind of cinched the bag in. So I'm going to put that air in the water. You notice this is a five gallon bucket. I haven't filled it all the way up yet because once you turn this aerators on, this stuff is going to roll. All right, I'm going to put the other one in. Not in the bag, just somewhere down in the bottom of the bucket. Okay. <clears throat> got that rolling and then you turn this puppy on you probably shouldn't turn on with, with wet fingers but uh, you can see this thing makes a little bit of noise but it's rolling and then I fill the bucket up a little bit more so I get closer to five gallons all right we say at least four hours for this up to 24 hours I should also point out that they say you can use a half a cup to a cup of each part. Now we just used a half a cup of each one just because I, I didn't want to overdo it. I didn't want some overkill on this. So, but you can use more if you want. Also trying to stretch this out through the season. So we have to let this shake and bake for about four hours. And we'll be back. While this is cooking, I should also point out you need some kind of distribution system to get the to water your plants. And we have uh, this. This is a 10 gallon sprayer. Obviously, we're only making five gallons at a time. This hooks to a battery, uh, you know, like a lawnmower battery. We've been hooking it directly to uh, a tiller battery, and it seems to work just fine. I got another battery that I'm trying to charge up for this, but uh, you're going to need this, something as well. I mean, you can use some of the uh, smaller, smaller ones. We've got one over here, um, you know, a two gallon kind, but you, you know, you'd have to keep refilling this a lot and we want to get this stuff down quickly and efficiently. But this stuff's cooking and we'll be back in four hours to check it out. One side note about this manifold. First of all, I was looking at it and I was thinking about it, you know, probably the two best places to put the air is just as close to the where the air is coming down, so it doesn't have to come down and go all the way out. It just comes down and shoots out here this way. So I move the two air tubes right here and turn these on and turn these off out here. Work fine. I also just kind of reposition this thing. It was making a lot of noise. I think it's because it's sitting on top of this, uh, this little fridge here. So I moved it and it's a lot quieter um, as, as advertised. So this is nice because of when we, we continue to make this stuff, we got people that are going to be sleeping or uh, playing nearby and they don't, they don't want to hear a bunch of racket. So, good ideas all around. Okay guys, so this has been going between six and seven hours now and check this out. Whoa! Heck, I put a top on this thing because the bag started floating and um, it started spraying some stuff out. Um, so I just put a top on it. I left some space for air to get in, but to try to make sure it doesn't go on everything, you can see the, the top really wet. So, no. so we're gonna Let's cut this off and uh, Daddy. yeah, we're gonna check. We're gonna cut this off and get it in the sprayer. And and we could okay, check. Benny, what do you got, Benny? What do you got to show us here? The tree frog right there. Tree frog, huh? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Right there. He's hiding up in there. Yep. That's and pretty he's, cool. He's peeing. No, he's not. All right, so we got the bucket here and get a sprayer. Gonna, and we're going to show you how I swing. Come on. Let me show you how I swing. Come on. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Mm hmm. After school. school. All right. Do it. Oh, okay, we got our sprayer and the boogie brew in the sprayer. Watch this, guys. That's what the sound looks like. See? Okay. Spray them up. Yeah. 
All right, get the other one too. Yeah, there's some boogie brew going in. I'm gonna try to do this whole row here. Good job, Benny. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, we can move on up. I think you got plenty of plenty of slack in that line there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Benny, keep spraying. Okay. Get this next one up here. Benny's already done this whole row uh, up and down of all these peppers. And now we're on the second row. We got some some squash and some other things at the end here. But keep on spraying there. Doing a good job there, my man. Great assistant we got here at Simply Sprouts Farm. Boy, we had a great day today with the, uh, the Boogie Brew. A couple of notes on the Boogie Brew. First of all, you want to make sure that you're using non-chlorinated water. Uh, we have a water filter built into our home, so we don't have to really worry about that. But if you uh, have a uh, city water supply, it probably has chlorine or some other chlorine derivative in it, and you've got to get rid of that stuff because it kills all micro microorganisms, the good and the bad. So Boogie Brew also does sell uh, a filter that you can hook to a hose and, uh, and filter that stuff out. I didn't use it because I didn't need to. I'm gonna show you here in the next couple of slides uh, the, the actual items that I ordered from Amazon to uh, the air pump, the tubing, the air pump comes with the manifold and um, the stones. Now you can buy them from Boogie Brew as well. Uh, they recommend at least 45 liters per minute. And this one that I bought was 60, so it was a little bit more, but then again, I did use two air stones with it. So um, certainly do a little research on that, but uh, compare prices. They also have a complete kit that uh, has some of the uh, air pumps in them as well. Finally, I do not uh, get paid by anyone for anything I'm promoting. I, I, I try to find things that are gonna benefit everyone. And certainly, we will keep you posted on how this Boogie Brew is doing. Uh, we had some great fun today, guys. It was a lot of fun out there, and we had a lot of plants today, peppers and tomatoes and uh, squash, and certainly we'll, we'll keep rolling on that. In fact, um, 50 or so pepper plants, and we hit them all today. We had um, about a half a dozen tomato plants, some cucumbers, some squash plants. I mean, we, we took us a long way, and we really soaked her down. So uh, we'll keep you posted on how this Boogie Brew is doing. Next weekend, when I have some more time, I'm going to spray the other tomato plants again that I already have sprayed. So hopefully we'll see even some more growth on them. They've got plenty of green tomatoes on them right now. But uh, the following is the, the purchases we made from Amazon. wanted to thank you guys for spending some time with uh, me and Benny today and uh, we had a good time out there uh, fertilizing the, the plants and playing with the frogs and everything so uh, hopefully you can like our video and if you really like our videos please subscribe to our channel and uh, until we meet again uh, God bless good luck and we'll see you soon